We got to keep an eye on the battle that we face, a war on workers. And you see it everywhere. It is the Tea Party. And you know, there's only one way to beat and win that war. The one thing about working people is we like a good fight. And you know what? They got a war. They got a war with us. And there's only going to be one winner. It's going to be the workers of Michigan and America. We're going to win that war. <laughs> President Obama, this is your army. We are ready to march. Let's take these son of a bitches out and give America back to America where we belong. Thank you very much. We're thrilled to be joined by so many other friends. I want to acknowledge, first of all, two of the finest senators in the country, Carl Levin and Debbie Stabenow in the House. Outstanding members of the congressional delegation, John Dingham, John Conyers, Sandy Levin, Gary Peters, and Hanson Clark. The president of the Metropolitan Detroit Central Labor Council, our host, Sandra Williams. Yeah. AFL-CIO President Rich Trumka. Yeah. President of the Michigan AFL-CIO, Mark Gaffney. Yeah. And some proud sons and daughters of Michigan representing working people here and across the country. SEIU President Mary Kay Henry. Teamster President Jimmy Hoffa, UAW President Bob King, Utility Workers President Mike Langford. We are proud of them and we're pr proud of your congressional delegation who are working every single day with your state and local elected officials to create jobs and economic growth and prosperity here in Michigan and all across the country. Given the hardship that many people are facing, folks got to get together. But we're not going to wait for them. We're going to see if we've got some straight shooters in Congress. We're going to see if congressional Republicans will put country before party. We'll give them a plan and then we'll say, do you want to create jobs? Then put our construction workers back to work rebuilding America. Do you want to help our companies succeed? Open up new markets for them to sell their products. You want, you, you say you're the party of tax cuts? Well then prove you'll fight just as hard for tax cuts for middle class families as you do for oil companies and the most affluent Americans. Show us what you got.